Hello, Kanjana. Thank Hi. you for um, for speaking to me today. Um, so I'm actually fascinated about your lifestyle and how you live. Actually, I think it's how we all should live. And I've been trying really hard the last uh, few months to change, um, you know, my behavior and and how how we have been taught and uh, and how we've learned over the last so many years, you know, to live which is not environmentally friendly and and causes a lot of harm to um, to our country and the planet and and um, you know a lot of a um, lot of garbage um, that accumulates so you live a very um, um, a life um, with very minimal garbage uh, output um, tell me how, how do you do it and, and what is what, what routine do you follow uh, yeah Tara like uh, right from my childhood and we live in a village so obviously our garbage was managed by our family my parents were like that so when I got married and came into Colombo uh, the same practice I brought in and but moreover when I became a, a kind of professional environmentalist uh, with the knowledge that I gained um, I was very concerned so past 16 years I have been doing this and trying to preach it for the others and uh, how to minimize your own waste and I only use the word like minimize your weight on this planet mm. so that's what I told most of our people and when I started eco-friendly volunteers the organization that was one of our main messages for right. the community because mm. individual change is very much needed to yes. change others yeah. so like Mahatma Gandhi said yeah. to be the change you want to see in the world so uh, so I practice it before I tell it to the others mm. because then you know the challenges and then you can't say what you can't do you can't expect yeah, others exactly. to do that so that's how i have minimized and i have very little litter produced uh, by me and my family and um, thanks to my husband and my two children they are very much supportive yeah. and uh, so that's the happiness um so i try to bring less garbage in yeah. so then i don't i try to manage it by myself mm. so i don't have any garbage to give back to municipal council or to this earth I try to trap them uh, because sometimes there are no alternatives uh, because if the, everything is recyclable then we can we have a solution but most of our garbage uh, for instance what I'm holding right now with me um, doesn't have a solution so therefore I, li I try to trap them right. uh, in the eco break. I think the first step is to, um, to reduce a lot right what exactly. we buy and, and be very conscious about it. Yeah. Um, how much plastic we buy, how much, and a lot of the things which are actually not healthy for us also, which uh, which are in these packets and things like that. So, um, uh, like I know, for example, my my son who's seventeen, he has never ever drunk um, a Coke or a Fanta or, or any soft drink ever. Yeah. And that's not by me telling him not to. I don't know somehow he's made that choice on his own. So I don't have bottles actually in the house those, yeah. those bottles are not there yeah um, but I mean uh, we all have to, to change the way we we live right yes. and try to reduce it's very difficult to always say ban this and ban that but um, but we can we can definitely make a huge impact by reducing and being conscious of it yes um, so that is the first step that's the first principle uh, conscious consumerism because we live in a very much consumer world and uh, it's easy for us to get lost in the such yeah. world and consumerism is not healthy at all as you said and all the packaged food uh, is introduced into us because of our busy life and they call that's development mm -hmm. and uh, but all the fruit is grown in the trees and uh, you know it's it's a natural thing so once we know the importance of uh, being natural, then you already refuse some artificial mm -hmm. food, what we call processed food. Obviously, if, if a food is uh, coming in a packeted format, which means the natural uh, format is gone. So that's what you have to understand. Then you can reject you can start with rejecting a lot of things as your son does my two sons are the same they they really reject fizzy drinks so therefore the mega bottles or the plastic pet bottles are not coming into my house so then to make the eco bricks i had to go and ask for some bottles from some people uh, so likewise once you reject 
the half of your garbage is not an issue at all. So then only you have to manage whatever the rest of the consumer, uh, uh, rest of the items that you consume because some items like salt, for instance, I can't reject and I need to use it and it doesn't come in a very convenient way in a bulk where we can go and uh, wait and take it mm. especially in urban setup like Colombo. so those ones and even tea leaves uh, so they come in packet form sometimes uh, uh, if you drink uh, milk powder then it comes in the coffee so likewise those packets are uh, without any invitation it's coming into mm. your home so that's what you have to manage so once you reduce unwanted things by rejecting and refusing and reducing the rest is you can manage by recycling and uh, by uh, 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 um, re uh, yes recycling and then other items like uh, any wooden stuff you can repair and yeah. you can replace. So likewise, mm -hmm. there are more R yeah. going into this practice. You told me there were ten, right? The yes. Ten R's. <laughs> Tell me again what they are. Yeah. So you can start with reject and then you can uh, refuse and uh, reduce and then you can reuse. And uh, recycle uh, before recycling, you can repair and replace, and then you can recycle. You have to repeat all these practices. Mm -hmm. That is another R. And also, you can rethink. Okay, what else I can do? What else um, I can contribute more positively? So that is also rethinking and then remembering. So every time you have to remember, be prepared when you are doing your shopping. Mm. So you take your own bag, you take your own uh, container to mm. buy the stuff. So for, for instance, when I go to my uh, fish market, I never get uh, any shopping bags uh, with the fish. I take my dish, uh, kind of a little ball I have, and I ask them to okay, wait and put it there. Mm. I can go and uh, store it in my uh, fridge. Actually, especially in Sri Lanka, not very long ago, uh, until not very long ago, we used to take our own bags. We, used to, we, we didn't have uh, polythene. I mean, I've, I think I've been through the different cycles of exactly. not having it at all and then having it all. And yeah. now, now, now it's rejecting now, again. Yeah, <laughs> but I think we, uh, it takes a, I mean, some realization to realize what's, what's actually happening. Uh, um, you know, what, how much we are contributing exactly. and, and try our best to, uh, to change yeah. it. We were fortunate yeah. enough to uh, come into this world when it's all sustainable. And that era was sustainability yes. era we had. And then now our children are not that lucky because they are born to this mm. consumerism world. So now they see, and with our old experience, now they see, okay, why should we do? So that kind of behavioral change is very difficult, Otara, because now people, even even the younger generation, doesn't know what we had yeah. those days. Mm. So it's the challenge we have. But if you are very much conscious about your behavior, you can still do this. Yeah, and I think, uh, I mean, we all see the, the, the plastic everywhere in the rivers and, and it's really grown a lot over the last so many years. So, uh, so there's obviously a a problem that needs to be addressed. It and, is. Um, so it's up to us um, to do it. And um, so tell me, the bags, the leftover bags, in yes. case, what do you do? As I said, I have rejected a lot and I have reduced a lot. So, but there are things like the salt and then sometimes butter or cheese. You know, those things sometimes I bring home. So not every day, but uh, these things are ultimately going to be a kind of a, um, a waste for even um, you because recycle, recycling people doesn't take this mm. and uh, therefore for instance if I eat from outside I don't eat much from outside but just in case then the lunch sheet comes so the lunch sheet this is one of the lunch packets which is that the new, I ate. the new thing which, Ex uh, which is the biggest issue actually. exactly and it's all poisonous and yeah. knowing that we had to we are consuming it but you that is one thing you can say no and also mm. reduced. Uh, so this lunch that sheet, is the, the, it goes into the food, right? The it is because it has chemical component in it mm. and when the heat is there it reacts so then it goes into our body and uh, ultimately this kills a lot of animals like our yeah. cows, our elephants yeah. and even in the uh, whales in the ocean. Yeah. So this was once wrapped my food and I had my lunch, I cleaned it with soap and I uh, uh, hang it for drying. So now it's a kind of a clean uh, wrap which I can touch even and I don't have to throw this away but I'm going to put it here right. and that's what we call eco brick 
and it's basically trapping. So these are non uh, non recyclable items in Sri Lanka. Like so, this. Like actually, this bottle you can recycle. Okay. Oh, you can. Uh, okay. Yes, this is pet bottle. You right. can recycle. So I had to ask few bottles from people who use this, right. which I don't use. So, but it's for a worthy cause. And I am just uh, inserting these uh, polythene, uh, which are not recyclable, into this bottle. And uh, whenever I get uh, all these uh, even uh, foil, uh, you can't recycle here in Sri Lanka. So then it's just basically pushing it further. You can see mm -hmm. how much you can just insert here once you do this. Uh, because it just stay there and you can uh, push further and further and it, you can make a very um, hard brick like this. Oh, I see. See how hard it is? And then what will you do? What will you do with this? Uh, those, with those, um, uh, I can show you the beautiful stool that we made. Yes. And uh, even uh, in other countries, they are making houses I've out of this. Yeah. Yes. Um, and even my eco garden, we are planning to have more uh, eco bricks and build a um, wall mm. where you can sit on. Right. So this is the stool you have made? Yes, uh, <laughs> we made it at our organization. This is not all our garbage, but our volunteers made their right. own eco brick and gave it to us. So then we made this and uh, it's a fascinating item, isn't it? Yes. <laughs> New trend. Yes. <laughs> you can be very innovative. You can make whatever you want, you know. And then for the, for the other, for the organic um, um, garbage, you have, obviously you have the compost here and then uh, yes. and you just use that. For, for your gardening Gardens. and um, for everything here. So, so, uh, so how many times would the garbage truck come and collect um, garbage from you? Uh, actually, I really don't know because they don't come this far because they know that my I don't give any garbage to them. So I think once a week they used to come. Right. But I heard from neighbors now they are having a lot of problem that they can't give their kitchen waste. So they are giving it to me now for oh, my garden. That's good. Yeah, because uh, I need lot uh, to have my big garden. Uh, but I manage my own compostable um, uh, compost by my own kitchen waste. I think garbage truck now very rarely they come uh, with this right. uh, recent incident. They don't have a place to dump mm. it. Um, but if you manage your own kitchen waste of potara, it's very easy to do mm. that. You can see yes. now, it's very little uh, that once you reduce mm. producing uh, garbage, it's very less. And my average garbage per day is about 300 grams. Oh, that's wonderful. Amazing. Uh, so, Kanchan, if someone wants to start making a difference today, what are the five easy tips, um, the best tips you would give them? Yeah, I think you can think of few hours if you can't really remember all the 10 hours. At least you can think, you can remember, uh, starting with remember hour and what you can reject. So if you reject things, uh, then it's very healthy for you. So for instance, if you reject uh, any uh, processed food um, in the packeted form, mm. instant food instant, uh, for instance. So you can start with rejecting things and really be conscious about when you shop in. When you do your shopping, take your own bag. So that's my second tip. So be ready and then take your own uh, bags uh, to say no to that uh, bag uh, the merchant is giving free of charge uh, and then you can really consider uh, how much garbage you can separate with because I sell my own car cardboard and paper and I sell my plastic and I sell my other recyclable ones. So if you really want to start and if you have zero knowledge on it, please read something and then get that knowledge how to separate your garbage. So then only you can think of what are the non-recyclable things in Sri Lanka. So those ones, you can start your own eco brick in such a way. So that would be a good action for, for uh, somebody to start with and feel happy. Because Otara, ultimately you see how much garbage you need to fill that bottle once you reduce your garbage. So uh, you can always start with being mindful about all these uh, your activities, how harm they are, what may, difference you can make kind of thing. So please think. Fine. Thank you so much for speaking to me today. You're welcome.